Ski season is in full swing across Canada, but this year recruiting staff is grueling. In St. Bruno, a popular ski station an hour away from Montreal, several jobs remain vacant. Tell me, Fernando, how many people do you still have to hire to operate properly? For the cafeteria, I still need cashiers, let's say about four, and attendants, five to six. So about 15 people to fill your entire team. Tables have turned and it's now up to the employer to convince future employees to join the team, often teens aged 15 to 18 years old. You have pretty good perks when you work for San Bruno Ski. You'll have free equipment rental and if you've skied before and want to try snowboarding, now's your chance. Due to lack of staff, the only bar at the station remained closed the month of December. I'm missing staff, so I have to step in and be at the cash register myself. I even have to work in the kitchen and clean the floor. The station has prioritized recruiting for other positions, such as snow gun operators. But these positions are also tough to fill since the pandemic changed the game. Many people have decided to change their lifestyles. People don't want to work 40 hours a week anymore. They give us 15, 20, 30 hours of availability. In the past, for example, we needed one ski lift attendant. Now we need two or three to be able to do the same job. There are more than 900,000 vacant positions in the country, nearly double than in 2019, and Quebec is hit the hardest. A survey showed that 64% of medium and small-sized businesses have a hard time hiring people. They need to get creative. Are you working on the welcome bags? Goodie bags to welcome new employees. As soon as they arrive, the employee will have a wow factor. The goal is to create that feeling of belonging. There are also two company homes where interns can stay for free and employees can rent a room for a low fee. Devolutions is offering quality of life at work to attract employees. If there's not a company culture, people aren't attached to it, so they'll be quicker to leave. It quickly becomes profitable to invest that $100 a month per employee in order to avoid volatility in the workforce. We make sure we keep our employees and that they're happy above all. The health sector is also in trouble. Many hospitals have closed beds and stopped offering certain services due to lack of staff. Here is a heart monitor, and while here there should be a patient in this bed, just like next door. Here also we should have a patient, but we lack staff, and sadly we need to reallocate resources from these beds to other spots in the unit. And it's sad, because that's not how it should be. The shortage is made worse by the Omicron fueled fifth wave. It's going to be tough tonight again, huh? Yes. We're going to have to do overtime. Yes, we have to ask the girls here to stay. You can't just print nurses or manufacture attendants. It takes years to train them properly. And we've seen the rate of people leaving the profession, and it's higher than the rate of people training for it. It's something we didn't expect. And in the coming years, we're going to have to find solutions. And we're already there. People on the ground are tired. And they want to see real change. The Quebec government announced mid-January that it will invest half a billion dollars in incentives for healthcare workers, including paid vacation and overtime paid at double rate.